Okay, I just put this out the oven. I'm going to take it to some miniature peaches. I'm going to take some of my French mango. I'm going to take some lemon juice. I'm going to mix that together. I'm going to put my meat. I'm going to put the juice that's from the meat into a pot. One tablespoon I'm going to take one tablespoon of corn starch and make it small thickness and one tablespoon of water. Mix it together. Put it on the uh, stove so it can get thick. My bath's getting thick. I'll show you what's next. My bath's getting thick. I'm going to show you what's next. I'm going to show you what's when me and my baby met, I had nothing with my name on it. I was, he only was going by what I say. You know, whatever I told him, that's what he went by. And um, I had no ID, had no social security card on me. I didn't have anything but the dress on my back, and I stole that. <laughs> so my baby told me, that um, we had no reason to lie to each other because we both were ready to give up. So what was the point of hiding anything? So I let him know everything. Anything he had, I told him. Um, he helped me get back on my feet. He helped me get my social security card, my birth certificate, ID. And before... I started really getting clean. I knew I couldn't get clean without, you know, with knowing my kids was on the street. I told my ex at the time, my other husband, that I was ready to get clean. I couldn't take it anymore. I had to get clean. And either he was going to do it or not. He decided not to. So I called CPS, one of the hardest things that I did, another hard thing that I did was calling CPS and told them I need to get clean and I can't get clean knowing that my kids is out. They told me, well, what do you want us to do? I said, I need you to take my kids. Usually people call CPS on you. I had to call CPS. And so I told my kids that I want to go get clean and they need to go into CPS. They hated it. 
but that's how much my kids love me. They agreed to do it. So CPS came and got my kids. I went into rehab. I started getting my cups clean, doing UAs. My husband, my baby was there all the time. Every time I felt like using, I would call him and, you know, he would stay on the phone until I got over that spell. One time I was, I even got me a job uh, doing an in-home care service. And the guy that I was taking care of, I walked in there and him and his nurse and his friends was all in there smoking pot. And I wanted to so bad, I ended up calling him, and it was 8 late at night, and I told him I had nowhere else to go. And he told me to come to the meeting. So I went to the meeting, and that day we went and got a, a, a hotel. The next day, um, I was telling him, you know, it's hard because I'm trying to get clean, I'm trying to get my kids back. And even though I'm staying away from drugs, wherever I go, it led me to it. So I, I didn't have a place to settle. So that next night, we ended up staying at the hotel again. And that morning, he took me. We went to go eat. And we got on the bus. We had no transportation, so we were taking the bus. We got onto a bus. We got off on 19th Avenue in Indian. And he walked in there. So I'm thinking, okay. He's going to help me get settled. And he went in there. He came back out, took me to lunch, and we came back, and we, we got approved for our very first apartment. And when he showed me, I was so happy. We got our first place, and that way, when CPS came out and looked at it, we did it. I was able to have my very first home visit with my kids. I was so happy. And we went on from there. The next thing, uh, waiting for this to get a little big. So I started dropping my UAs and being able to visit my kids. And my baby told me, I'm going to get you a house. I'm thinking, okay, whatever. <laughs> and so we uh, got my kids back and my baby, I told my baby, well, our next step is, you know, we have to clean up our backyard before we can move forward. So my next thing was I knew I had warrants out of me. Uh, wow. I had uh, three misdemeanors and two felonies. Uh, two, three misdemeanors and two, two uh, it was something else. Well, it was five altogether once. Out of me. So I go down there, my baby with me. Baby never had to deal with anybody in jail before dealing with the law like that. <laughs> so we go down to the police station. And I'm telling them, okay, I'm turning myself in. So they run my name and they find my warrants and stuff. And I couldn't leave then because, you know. They found out that I had warrants out. So I'm empty in my pocket. My poor baby's like, what are you doing? I said, babe, I'm putting myself in. He said, I know. But what are you doing? And so the police officer tells my baby, well, uh, we can rearrest her. <laughs> the look on my baby's face was so sad. He said, uh, you need to tell me you're not coming home? And the police officer looked at uh, looked at my baby, and he's like, "No, sir, she's going to jail." <laughs> my baby was ready to cry. It, it made me feel so bad. I thought he understood what I was doing when I said I was going to turn myself in, but he didn't. So the police officer felt so bad that he said, "You know what? We're not even going to put the cuffs on her, and we'll even let you walk her to the elevator." So he walks me to the elevator, he gives me a hug, like he didn't want to let go, and I went in, they took me upstairs, I stayed in jail for only 14 days until my court date, and with the response and all the paperwork that I took in from going to my AA meetings, my papers being signed, 
the judge said, uh, you know what? You're showing so much progress. I'm going to give you time served. And then uh, they let me go. Come to find out when we was leaving, uh, they told me if I had not turned myself in, I would have been doing 25 years. So, see, God watches over us even when we when we have no clue. When I thought he left, when I thought he turned his back on me, when I figured, oh, why? Why me? Why me? I'm glad it was me. Because where I'm at now, today, I cannot be any happy. I'm just so blessed. When God put him in my life, my whole life changed. Everything. It's, and it, it feels like it's still new now today. That's why I'm always so happy because I'm always experiencing something new with my baby. And he makes me laugh when I'm ready to cry. So I just wanted to share that with you because I want you to keep on doing it with the sauce. I'm going to take the sauce, pour over the meat, pour over the meat. This is going to go back in the oven one more time. This time it's going to go in there for an hour. And, I'm, and then dinner will be done. And I'll probably take a picture to show you the outcome of it. And there it goes. It goes back in the oven. 350 for one more hour. And I'm hoping you guys like my video. Also, since... Um, these videos are also on, I'll put up on YouTube. So, and they're going to always be the meal, and plus at the end it'll say with the testimony. So those are the ones that you'll see see where I'm giving testimony. And I hope you guys like it. If not, I can always go back to the music. I just love it. Thank you.